Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys a very useful tool that allows you to transfer all your apps and app data, including messaging service, from your device to your computer or from your device to any other device. This is AppTrans, and I would highly appreciate it if you check out the links in the description and try it out. This is by iMovie, a longtime supporter of the channel. This is what keeps the channel going. A sponsor video by them, and I wanted to share the software because not only are they the sponsors, but this is a very useful, very practical software, especially if you're looking to transfer all your app and app data, as I mentioned, including messaging service from an iPhone, for example, to an Android or from an Android to an iPhone or from your devices over to your computer to save all this data and use it at a later time. So this works throughout all of your devices, obviously from iOS devices to iOS devices, from Android to Android, and as I mentioned, vice versa. So let's go ahead and take a look at the software app trans. So the first options you get greeted with on the top left here is app transfer. Now this allows you to transfer your data from your device over to your computer to save it onto your computer. And of course, as I mentioned, from one device to another, we have two devices here. We can swap the source device to the targeted device, iPhone XR and iPhone SE here. As you can see, let XR on the left, SE on the right, and then ask what type of app am I transferring? Is it a messaging service or is it any other type of application? In this case, other types of apps. I can click next and then select the apps that I would like to transfer with their app data. Now, when I click transfer, it's gonna ask me to authorize by entering my Apple ID. Of course, your data is protected, so you have to go ahead and enter your Apple ID in order for the apps and the app data to be transferred to the next device. Device. So once you click confirm and you enter your passcode, you can see that the apps and the app data are being transferred instantly. There is three applications, the clips, the Twitter, and the YouTube applications are now transferring from iPhone XR over to iPhone SE second gen. And this happens relatively quickly here. And again, this is all the apps with app data as well. So once this is all completed and all your apps and app data has been completely transferred over to the device, it starts extracting the data and saving it for you to use at a later time. Now, the next option is the app restore. Now, this option allows you to view or restore the app data that you just stored from your iOS device or Android. You also have the option to view or restore iTunes backup data as well from your computer. So this is really cool as well. And the third option is WhatsApp backup. This allows you to view and restore WhatsApp backup data from Google Drive to iOS or Android or a device from a computer. So just keep those in mind. These app restoring options are very, very cool. Then you also have the app backup. This allows you to specifically just back up your device to the computer. Very simple. So I have the iPhone XR connected, click backup, and this backs up everything that's on my iPhone XR, every single app that I want to transfer over with the data over to the computer relatively quickly. And of course, once the data is transferred over, you can view all your apps and app data directly within the software for later use. You also have a really cool feature called App Install. This allows you to install any application that you might have downloaded from the internet and install it directly to your iOS device. So go ahead and check them out. Again, App Trans by iMobi, longtime partner of the channel. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.